varieties that we're using, they are uh, Ukrainian, uh, also we have one from Belarus, uh, and those are n newer, more modern varieties that have been developed in recent years. They have excellent standing power, they have an erect growth habit um, for, for good harvesting, uh, they have no problems with disease or any of that. Um, they tend to have their yield in the upper half of the canopy. A um, couple of the varieties we have have a, a tendency towards terminal podding, so the propensity of the pods are on the top of the plant. Uh, all of these things are, are plant breeding developments which um, uh, have really emerged in the last 10 years or so. And as a result, we have varieties that will we think we'll quite readily do a ton an acre as long as everything is done right. Uh, speaking of doing things right, well, soya beans, once they're established, look after themselves. There are no pest or disease issues to concern yourself with. Uh, it's easy to harvest. In fact, it's a doddle to harvest. Um, uh, really uh, bomb-proof harvest from the point of view of wind and rain inclement weather is not a concern whatsoever. So all of that's good. Uh, the agronomic foibles with the crop, if anything, would be at the front end. So uh, once it's up and running, uh, you're laughing. But if it was going to go wrong, uh, then with soya beans, uh, it, I guess there are three potential issues that you would need to be uh, aware of. The first is drilling depth. Drilling depth is important with soya. No deeper than two inches down. Any deeper is very bad news because soya does not uh, extend itself um, to the surface very well at all. Um, the other one is soil moisture. Um, if we ever have a problem with a crop, it's invariably maybe on heavy land where it's gone very knobbly and it's dried out. Now, in that situation, uh, you have a, a if you have a knobbly horizon and it's baked out, maybe it's a heavy clay and it's gone all cr you know in, in little clods. Um, that's really not good news. Uh, it's not that soya is maybe um, more susceptible to this issue. Probably more to say, true to say that it's simply a product of when we sow it. Remember, soya beans are planted the last week in April uh, here in the UK. Therefore. Um, you're probably at more risk from dry weather if you have got an ill-prepared kind of knobbly seed bed. So uh, drilling depth is important. You can't chase moisture down to four inches or three inches or something like that. It's not an option. So you need to have a well-prepared, reasonably fine uh, tilth bed. You try and hold the moisture in the upper part of the uh, of the tilth. Uh, drill it in there, give it a light roll, and Bob's your uncle really. Uh, that's perfect. Um, the only other agronomic issue to mention, I suppose, uh, soybeans can be bothered with pigeons. Uh, if you take reasonable deterrence measures, and you're on the ball with it, then you'll be fine. However, if you stick it down the woods and forget about it, they could potentially decimate the crop. So. Uh, Whilst the true leaves of soya beans are crinkly and hairy and really not very appetising to any kind of pest, um, the cotyledons are quite plump and juicy and smooth and pigeons will go for those. So if you're putting soya beans in, we've got to think in terms of decent seed bed, hold the moisture, drill it at the correct depth, um, maybe a light roll on with the pre-emergence chemical, and then as it breaks surface, get on the ball with the pigeons, keep the pigeons off, uh, and you'll only really have to do that until you get some true leaves on there. After that, you're pretty much pigeon immune. In fact, you're pretty much anything immune. So there's that short period from emergence to your true leaves, maybe a period of two or three weeks, when really you, you do want to be on the ball. Uh, keep the pigeons off, uh, and once you're through it, um, you're, uh, you're pretty much laughing. So that's a sort of canned summary, really, of the agronomy for the soya, but it is straightforward. Uh, seed beds, keep the pigeons off, um, 
and after that hopefully it should be pretty straightforward. Thank you.